Leslie Farinella. I'm on the Homeowners Association and I've been here in Pembroke for the last two years. And I'm Tony Harrington and I am also a homeowner and was on the board of directors. The roofs definitely were not looking that nice. It's amazing the difference when you look at it now you don't really notice how much better as you were saying it looks from what we had before. The crew was amazing. Oh yeah. I, other than hearing the noise in the distance it didn't feel like we were living in a construction zone. They kept they a clean kept, job site. Oh, they kept a very, every evening I could see, and they're working dawn to dusk. I could see at dusk, they're going and picking up all the trash. The other thing, all the way to the end, so the last day they were on the job, they were going around the neighborhood, like just tweaking like drain spouts and picking stuff out of the flower beds and just making sure everything was perfect. I have never seen it's anybody quality. leave a <clears> job quality. site so clean and even at even evening it's not like we had to wait to the end every evening they would pick up and you didn't feel like you were living in a junction i'm house. telling you when they started it just it was just like a machine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how how efficient mm -hmm. that they were you know you could speed and not be efficient but they were efficient yep. doing it and then when the roofs came back on it was just like wow they've already finished a whole set of buildings and it just kind of kept going, and they would, you know, they'd have one team doing taking off and another team putting on, and it just overlapped, just, and it was like a machine going through. The efficiency of moving from one section to the other, moving the materials in and out, that was never in the way of any of the homeowners, you know, traversing through the neighborhood. There was never uh, anything negative with the actual process that they were doing, but it was stunning to see process and then to hear yet the last week when they said they had finished the last building it's kind of shocking and when I um, started this company and you know we from the very beginning whether it's a small little house that we do somewhere or a large project like this the thing that I've always tried to keep in mind is people have lives and they have things to do and they have jobs to go to and families and a, a lot of other things going on and so what I wanted to do to set us apart from just a roofing company or just a construction company um, is almost like a concierge service, like everything. I wanted it to be five star so that people just don't have hassles. I wanted it to be hassle free because I know how I am. When I, you know, I'm busy, I'm, I'll, I'll pay the extra dollar sometimes. I'll just say, it's fine, just take care of it. You know what I mean? I, I can't deal with that right now. I trust you, I want to seek out Someone that's good at what they do and let them do what they do. And that's what I wanted us to be in, in the roofing business. And so that it would be hands off. And as I'm hearing you guys talk, it makes me feel really good about the project. Of course, because of the, um, the product, it looks great. But what it, the part that I like to hear the most um, is that it was reasonably hassle free, that we took care of the red tape and that you guys could go on with your life. And so whether it's, you know, cleanup or, you know, scheduling all the things that are done behind the scenes or our team dealing with the ins insurance company, that's what we're trying to provide here is as little intrusion into your life as possible and your opinion on the, the process start to finish. Was it hands off? Did we deliver on that, you know, that five star, that hands off hassle free product? That's what we were looking to do. Absolutely, absolutely. Five star service all the way through. Could not have asked for anything better. Uh, from beginning to end, the communication, the setting expectations, which we all know is really important to the crews, to the cleanup, all the way through. You even worked around some homeowners who, you know, couldn't have their unit done that day, so you would, or that week, because you'd swap it for various reasons. I mean, it was amazing, honestly. I would not have expected it from a roofing company. Sure. <laughs> not to say that, it. but it's just yeah. not what you expect from maybe from you know the Waldorf Astoria or something, but not from a roofing company to really have that level of service. Um, but you guys did. So you're as much a service company as you are a construction company. I appreciate company. that. It was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. From beginning to end, I mean, from the informative sessions that we had about what the process could look like. To the insurance process, to the uh, getting the funding to be able to do it, to getting the product chosen and, and have it display that to our homeowners so that they had a, a voice in the matter, to the installation, the cleanup, the, the process from start to beginning. 
it is amazing. Um, one thing I will say as a benefit is, you know, I, I'm president of our 3,000 member Realtor Association and we have a duty to our members and to our general public for the regions that we cover to make sure that we're protecting them in products and services that are offered in our six county region. This is a product that will be first in mind, your service will be first in mind as conversations come up about this to other HOA associations and communities. So thank you for that. Fantastic. Thank Thanks so much you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good job guys. Thank you. Thank you. And we could have a talk show. Guys. Right? Yeah.